Hi, this is Chris from Droll Yankees, dropping some crumbs of knowledge on you. Today's crumb of knowledge, replacing a power stick in your Yankee flipper. Now, this can be an easy task if you follow the directions properly. Grab the feeder like so, grab the base like so, twist counterclockwise till you hear a click, and remove. This is very similar to the way you would charge your feeder. Now you're going to flip this over so the charging port is on your table or countertop, wherever you have room. Grab a 7 16 inch wrench and take the nut off the bottom of the feeder, like so. There's your nut. Take off your hub and your washer. Now if your hub does not come off that easily and it appears to be stuck, you may use the handle of a screwdriver, preferably plastic, um, and hit the end, the not threaded end of the power stick like so. And the hub will pop right off. Remove your perch ring, your friction disc, which may be white or clear. Either way, that is fine. Now you'll want to grab your YFO one, which is this plastic part with the metal tabs. Grab that and the power stick in one in the other hand, and using your thumb as leverage, separate them. Now inside you will have a spring, which may come off like so, or it may stay in your YFO one. Make sure you put it in your YFO one so it is this way inside your YFO one. discard the old power stick. Take your new power stick and lining up your switch with your switch bumper so it will engage properly. You pass the threaded end through the hole in the bottom of your YFO one like so. You'll hear a little bit of a click and if it's turned on it will engage. Next you will add the friction disc, which again is either clear or green. There's a clear one. Add your perch ring. And an easy way to get your perch ring on there per perfectly with your hub is you take a flat side of the threaded end of the power stick and line it up with one of the spokes on the perch ring. Next you will do the same thing with the hub. The hub has a flat side on the inner circle of, of the hub. Put that over the threaded end and rest the slots from the hub on the four spokes. Install the washer over the threaded end. Put the 7 16 inch nut on the threaded end and tighten until it's finger tight. Grab your 7 16 inch wrench or ratchet. Give it a couple little turns until it's tight. Grab your feeder and you're going to insert the three metal or plastic if you have plastic tabs into the, pla the holes on the bottom of the port. When you twist clockwise you'll hear a click meaning your feeder is secure. You may now turn your feeder on and if all goes well, it will work just like that. Now put some seed in there, put it outside, hang it from a tree, watch the birds feed and the squirrels go for a little ride.